Welcome back, folks. Ever wondered how to become a hacker, but you're not sure where to start? No worries. I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every single step so you can dive headfirst into the world of cybersecurity and become an ethical hacker. So grab some popcorn, because you definitely don't want to miss this. But first, a quick disclaimer. Starting with step one, which is get hands on Linux. The open source superhero, Linux, ensures top-notch security for your computer systems. As an ethical hacker, Linux should be your best friend. Why? Because it's one of the most popular operating systems in the hacking world, offering a treasure trove of tools that hackers drool over. Some common Linux distributions include Red Hat Linux, Ubuntu, Kali Linux, and the retired but not forgotten Backtrack. But let's be honest, Kali Linux is the star of the show. It's like the Swiss army knife of hacking, specially tailored for all your ethical mischief. Coming to second crucial step is opt for the mother of all programming languages. C is like the OG of programming languages, often called the mother of all programming languages. Because it's been around forever, it teaches you the basics before letting you lose in the world. Want to master Linux? You better get cozy with C because this entire operating system is basically written in it. For hackers, knowing C is like having the keys to the Linux playground. It lets you bend the rules. Also, it gives them the power to utilize Linux the way they desire. Up next is the third step, learn the art of being anonymous. The golden rule of ethical hacking. Stay as anonymous as a ninja at a blackout party. You've got to master the art of leaving no trace, like a ghost with a great VPN. Remember, you never really know who else is lurking in the digital shadows. If a black hat hacker catches a whiff of you on the same network, they might just decide to play a game of Hack the hacker. So, keeping your identity under wraps is crucial. Tools like AnonSurf, ProxyChains, and McChanger are your best buddies in this mission. Think of them as your digital disguises, keeping you have hidden better than a spy in a James Bond movie. Transitioning to the next key step is get well versed in networking concepts. Understanding networking concepts is like learning to navigate a maze. Except this maze is full of data packets, and you're the only one with the map. For ethical hackers, being a networking whiz is like having X-ray vision. You can see through the layers of protocols and spot vulnerabilities like a hawk eyeing its prey. Mastering tools like Nmap and Wireshark that's your superhero toolkit, helping you dodge the dangers and exploit the weaknesses like a pro. With this knowledge, you'll not only survive, but thrive in the wild world of hacking. Now, the fifth step is traverse the hidden web. The Internet's dark, mysterious basement is known as the dark web, where the search engines fear to step. It's like a secret club with no signboard, and you need a special knock, or in this case, software, to get in. An anonymizing browser called Tor is your ticket to this underground digital world. Dark webs, a hotbed of shady deals and digital mischief. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a legit side, too. And as an ethical hacker, You'll need to learn the ropes of the dark web. Just think of it as exploring the wild west of the internet. On to the sixth important phase, which is add secret writing to your skill set. Cryptography, or secret writing, is like the secret sauce for an ethical hacker. Mastering the art of encryption and decryption is essential, like having the magic key to all the locked doors in the cybersecurity world. Encryption is everywhere, guarding everything from passwords to top-secret videos, ensuring data stays safe and sound. For an ethical hacker, learning to crack these codes is like becoming a digital Sherlock Holmes, 
except instead of magnifying glasses, you're armed with algorithms. Just remember, when you're cracking encryption, it's all about turning secrets into your next big discovery. Next step is to delve deeper into hacking. Once you've mastered the basics, it's time to put on your digital scuba gear and dive deep into the ocean of hacking concepts. Get cozy with topics like skull injections, penetration testing, and vulnerability assessments. Think of them as your treasure map to hidden vulnerabilities. Stay on your toes, because the world of cybersecurity is always changing faster than a cat chasing a laser pointer. Learn to scan systems and networks like a detective with a magnifying glass, hunting for loopholes that could turn into gaping holes in security. Just remember, the deeper you dive, the more interesting the treasure you'll find. Lurking to the last step, but the most practical one is experiment and practice to ace hacking. In the world of hacking, practice isn't just important. It's your secret weapon. Ethical hackers need to test and tinker like mad scientists, experimenting with concepts in different environments and scenarios. Whether it's testing attacks, tools, or just seeing what happens when you push that big red button, practice makes perfect. And don't be a lone wolf. Join a community or dive into forums where hackers from around the world swap tips, tricks, and the occasional meme. Whether it's on Discord, Facebook, Telegram, or some secret hacker hangout, teamwork makes the dream work. And who knows, you might just find your new hacking BFF. Well now, that's a wrap on your quest to become an ethical hacker. From mastering C programming to cracking codes and joining hacker hangouts, you're now ready to dive into the cybersecurity jungle. If you had a blast watching, give that like button a high five. Subscribe for more and drop a comment below. Let's keep hacking, but ethically and sharing laughs along the way. Catch you in the next one.